and two games allowed so far. If you were to nitpick, where would you kind of be critical over your unit? You know, it's it's we still got to execute better. I think we we still are leaving some things out there, leaving some opportunities out there. Um, you know, a couple of the runs we had last week, I put our guys in a tougher situation. Um, we did a great job stopping the run, except for two plays, uh, one of which was easily avoidable, probably on my part. I got maybe a little greedy. Um, and uh, but I, I you know I, I just want our guys to continue to improve, especially our young guys. I want those guys to continue to push and. Uh, be in a, in a situation where there's not a drop off between the ones and the twos. Missouri hasn't been overly explosive this season. Do you try to find some cut ups from last I season? Wish to that was true. Yeah. Going? No, I, I um, certainly you know with only two games this year, we're looking at at some things from the past. But um, no, I, I you know they may have not had um, you know. 50 point games, but they're explosive. I mean, they've got some great athletes. They've got uh, a quarterback that can run. They've got they've got talent over there and and, and good coaches. So, um, you know, it, it's um, yeah, it's a scary it's a scary group. They haven't found that groove yet. But Luther Burden, you mentioned those athletes and the other receivers. How concerning are those guys? They're they're really talented and and you know I I, I thought I thought Troy had some um, some some really fast electric kids at receiver too. The difference between these guys and those guys is they're 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 just bigger, they're they're heavier, they're you know, uh, they're stronger, um, and equally as fast. So it's um, you know I, I worry not only about the the route running and that stuff, but just the the catch and runs. You know some of the screen games, some of the things that that get the ball to those guys in space. Those guys aren't going to be easy to get on the ground. That's going to be a big challenge for us. As you go back and evaluated all the tackles for loss you guys have had through two games. How much of that has been due to the guys up front, just one of their matchups versus, you know, you scheming up blitzes and other things like well, that? Well, you know, the two, the two things work hand in hand because we're trying to do things to get people in positions to be successful, but at the end of the day, they are the ones doing it, you know. So, um, you know, it, it's we're, we're really talented up front. I think we've got a, um, a lot of uh, quickness on the D-line, and anytime you can get those guys moving, I think that that's helpful. And then... You know, I think we've got some some linebackers that like to get downhill too, and and uh, and take the challenge in the run game. So, um, you know, I, I I give as much credit as I can to those guys. Is there anything about that stat twenty through two games that surprises you at all? Just hearing it for the first time, honestly, I don't. You know, I'm not I'm not one of those guys that that sits after the game and, and looks at the stat sheet a whole bunch. You know, to me, I'm more about okay, we did this call this many times, and you know this was our efficiency in it, and we did this call this many times. I'm, I'm more looking at it probably from an analytical point of view than a, than a results-based point of view. You know, I'm looking at it as, hey, we're executing this call at a high level. Uh, this call we're not executing at a high level. So either we're going to get rid of it or we're going to work with it, massage it, and make it better. And so um, I, I, I suspect it as much. I couldn't tell you the exact numbers of that, but uh, it doesn't surprise me because of, of, of how our guys are playing. Three sacks for Khalid are an obvious indication how disruptive he is, but you move him around a lot on third down, sometimes over the nose. And how good has he been in those situations? G great. I mean, I, I think we're trying to get him in positions where he can have some one-on-ones. Um, and I, I don't think in his mind it matters if he's over the center of the guard of the tackle. Um, you know, I, I know last week, you know, he was getting chipped uh, a lot by tight ends. That'll probably be something that'll be recurring. So we tried to get him in some positions where he wouldn't have that happening to him. And um, I think ultimately uh, his success there will, will open some doors for, for Nate, for Brendan, for uh, Toby, for Javon, for Uso. You know, hopefully we can get some other guys that are winning those one-on-ones at that rate. Have you thought of maybe Toby's a, actually a defensive end? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how, uh, how much he keeps eating. But, uh, you know, it's, it's strange because – He's one of the fastest kids, if not the fastest kid, and I'm going to get some grief for saying that, on our football team. I mean, he really is. He's tremendously athletic, and, uh, and he's huge, and, and he's really comfortable rushing. And, and uh, so we, we've started to get him in that role a little bit more and more. But, you know, right now I think um, he's getting better as a linebacker, you know, and, and he's starting to be more natural. It wasn't real natural for him even, even in, in, in the spring and fall camp. He's, he's, he's developing there. So we want to keep force feeding that to him because I think he could be really special, but he's probably going to be special wherever he plays. The cornerback, <coughs> excuse me, the cornerback tandem has seemed to have grown in dependability just over two games. Mm -hmm. 
How does that affect the way you're able to make play calls? Yeah, I, I suspect it as much in the summer. Um, I'm happy to see Will Lee developing as he is. You know, I, I, I kind of had been around Jacob for, you know, for a year, and so I, I knew what kind of competitor he was. And, and just to see Will grow in his confidence and in his understanding, that's, that's really making me feel really secure. Um, and so, no, I, 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 I kind of planned for that because I thought that it might be the case. And, and you throw Keenan Garber into that mix as a, as a solid, you know, uh, solid, solid third guy that could probably play anywhere. Um, you, you got a really good group, really good room.